Let's uh, talk about uh, Indian economist and NI NIPFP professor Ila Patnayak. She has questioned the integrity of ICICI board and the management. She asked, as the allegation has started in 2016 itself, what has RBI been doing since then? Let's listen in her concerns. My first question would be, what was RBI doing since 2016? Were those allegations investigated? Uh, what is CBI doing even before the RBI has started doing anything? I mean, we're all very talking about the CBI and the ED in carrying out an investigation. But you know, that happens after a crime is reported. Whereas even before there is any crime, it need not even be a crime. It need be a conflict of interest. It needs to be uh, a lacuna in the system. It needs to be uh, uh, how you uh, provision for an asset, how, when, how you report the performance of an asset. Even before a crime, there is a long period when the bank is on the books of the uh, when a loan is on the books of the bank and the supervisor and especially in the uh, ICICI case this was a systemically important bank it has been called a systemically important bank by the RBI which meant means that it has heightened supervision compared to other entities which are not systemically important and in that scenario my question is what was the RBI doing what has it done so far of course, it's very strange that even after a criminal investigation is being carried out by the CBI, the RBI remains silent. I mean, that is even stranger. Having government nominees on those boards is actually something that is going to make those boards function well. So at this time, to think that that is the main issue, I think is it's a bit misleading. I think we need to really go back to thinking about what is the role of the board? What is the role of the management? Does the board control the management at all?